Hey everyone, this is Dr. Schmidt. I'm the dentist, or one of the dentists at the Grand Traverse Band Dental Clinic. And I'm here to chat with you a little bit today about preventative dental care. Um, routine dental care is very important to everyone. It keeps our mouths healthy. And I know it's a little bit tougher right now to receive routine dental care because of some of the issues that COVID had caused with rescheduling appointments, canceling appointments. But we're trying to play catch up as best as we can to help get everyone's needs addressed. And we're, we're just asking that as you are waiting for your appointment, that you uh, take really good care of your teeth at home and help us help you by preventing disease until we can get you in and take a look around and get a treatment plan for you. So oral health is very important, not only just for your mouth, but also for your systemic health. They're related and diseases of the mouth can actually exacerbate or cause diseases of your body as a whole. A few of those diseases are diabetes, pulmonary disease, and atherosclerotic disease. Good dental hygiene can keep your gums and teeth healthy, which is excellent. You, you want that. You don't want to be in pain. You don't want to have irritated gums. And poor dental hygiene can lead to dental caries, which are cavities, or periodontal disease, which is bone loss. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about both of those. So first, what is periodontal disease? It's disease of the periodontium, and the periodontium is the supporting structure of teeth in our mouth. And the periodontium is kept healthy by flossing, keeping bacterial loads down. Those bacteria will cause inflammation in the gums, and that, that inflammation can lead to a disease called periodontitis. Smoking accelerates the bone loss as well, but you can still have periodontal disease without smoking. And I'm going to talk to you about the process here on this slide. We're looking here at the periodontal disease process. So the first thing you notice, first stages of periodontal disease are when you have irritated or bleeding gums. That's called gingivitis. Gingivitis is reversible. Uh, periodontitis is not reversible. So if you notice bleeding, if you floss or brush your teeth, that's a sign of gingivitis. And improve your home hygiene, improve the brushing habits, brush your gum lines, floss really well. You can reverse gingivitis and your gums will go back to normal. However, if gingivitis is left unchecked and allowed to continue, the bacteria can get underneath the gums, replicate, cause inflammation and actually cause bone loss by the inflammatory factors in your gum tissue causing bone to recede and that can eventually lead to tooth loss. And now we're going to say what what is uh, what is caries? What is dental caries? So caries is the bacterial disease of the tooth that actually leads to cavities. Cavities, we all know, are holes in the teeth, the black color of teeth that actually starts as dental caries. And if left untreated, these cavities can become painful, they can cause infection, and just be a real real pain to the patient. This is the progress of caries progression. If you ever look at your teeth close in the mirror and you notice any chalky white spots, that's the start. That's most likely the start of a cavity. Bacteria and plaque that is left on enamel, they leach acid into the teeth and that acid pulls minerals out of the tooth, the enamel, and causes these white spots. If those white spots are contained in the enamel, that outer layer, that's just known as enamel caries. And as soon as that enamel caries penetrates into the second layer, the dental layer underneath the enamel, but that's when we have to do a filling. You can reverse steps one and two with good home hygiene, but once it gets into the dentin layer, that's when we need to do fillings. If the fillings aren't done and the cavity or the caries progresses into the nerve chamber, that's when you get an abscess in the tooth. That's when you get that throbbing toothache and the tooth either needs a root canal or it needs an extraction. So none of that sounds fun. We want to avoid that if possible. And you can do your part at home by preventing oral disease. That's the best way to avoid the dentist is by just preventing any disease in the first place. You can brush for two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night with a fluoridated toothpaste. That fluoride really helps remineralize the minerals that are lost during acid attacks and when bacteria are left on the teeth. Flossing after brushing is a great way to get the fluoridated ions up in between the teeth and also help repair the enamel between the teeth. A fluoride mouth rinse is also a great way to get fluoride all over your teeth and really help kill bacteria and keep cavities in check. And also the use of floss sticks, floss picks, anything like that that can get plaque out from your gum line, plaque out from the teeth. Those are all going to help you uh, by not having to come see us at the dental office. That's not to say, however, that you shouldn't come to the dentist if you do good home care because at regular hygiene visits, we're able to catch disease early. We're able to take measurements that would note any deep pockets, maybe indicating that you have the start of periodontal disease. Um, we can look for spots that you can't see in the mirror at home. 
to look for early signs of cavities or caries. And ideally, you're seeing the hygienist twice a year with regular checkups, regular x-rays, so we can catch disease early. However, if you do come in and we design a treatment plan for you where we do notice periodontal disease, we'll want to see you more frequently or have you see a specialist to get your uh, gum condition under control. And the hygiene at home isn't the only way you can prevent these types of diseases as well. Just being aware of what you're putting into your mouth is a great way to, you know, stop the start of cavities. You don't want to drink really sugary drinks. You don't want to eat really sticky, sugary foods. Even foods like Cheetos, they have a lot of carbohydrates in them that are great bacteria food that can also promote the growth of cavities. So you want to be aware of that. So I know it's tough right now to get into the office. We are booking out pretty far, but go ahead and make an appointment today. We'd love to see you. We have the number listed here to schedule. That's our front office number. But please just remember if you schedule an appointment, make sure you have adequate time to make that appointment because scheduling and not showing up not only can hurt you as a patient because you don't get your dental care addressed, but it also takes a spot from another patient who could be seen. So if you have to cancel an appointment for any reason, make sure you give adequate notice. But we'd love to see you down at the dental clinic. You can reach out to us or reach out to me at any time if you have any further questions. Thanks.